Welcome back everyone to Crusader Kings 2 with the Game of Thrones mod playing as Queen Saria of House Lannister, the girl queen that managed to unite the Seven Kingdoms under the Golden Lion. Um, but one of the Seven Kingdoms is actually in open rebellion right now. Uh, once again, uh, Lord Benjakit the Merciless of House Stark has risen up, or I guess it's the first time he has risen up, but it's the second time he's opposing our... Um, our realm. Actually, it's the third time. He attacked the Trident, then he opposed us in the war uh, for his subjugation, and now he's risen up in rebellion. So he needs to be put down for sure, and uh, the Starks need to lose control over the North. Um, we need to give it to a more deserving house, and um, since we have a few Northern Houses joining us, I think we're probably going to give it to uh, Lady Sharia of House Glover, uh, since they're probably the strongest house that has joined us. We also have the Stony Shore supporting us. House Rygate. They don't... I don't, I don't know anything about them. They have the High Lordship of the Stony Shore. That's very weird. I don't think I'm going to give it to them. And House Tallheart of Torrent Square is simply too small. Although they actually... They technically can field more men than House Glover at the moment. So I'll have to think about this. But it's most likely going to be... Uh, but most likely going to give the Lord Paramounts of the North to House Glover. Um, but regardless, how did it come to this? Well, um, uh, we're actually currently mustered uh, forces from the Reach, uh, the Crown, well, well the, the Blackwater Bay area, as well as the Stormlands to head north. And we also have a few Targaryen forces that we'll talk about in a second. But yeah, what happened? Um, well, basically, if you remember, uh, the factions we had in the... Uh, the factions that we had uh, in the last episode were actually the independence faction led by the iron islands and we had uh some faction for one of our half sisters and um, that was led by the north now uh the iron islands we dealt with relatively swiftly we had a reason to imprison Hera's greyjoy and so we did and despite our gods being overwhelmed he saw he saw no reason in uh, in defying, uh, you know, House Lannister. I think we have messed with the with the Iron Islands uh, so many times in their history that uh, they 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 fear the power of uh, of Castle Rock. So he decided uh, to surrender himself to the crown. Uh, we exiled him. Uh, at least our master lost it. He had an excellent. Uh, we had an excellent trial. Uh, he was found guilty, and um, uh, we'll have to check out this event. So. He, uh, yeah, he was he was found guilty, and we sent him to the wall to uh, maybe help out this uh, Lord Commander Morin the Rash. Wow, he's 71 years old, and he's still kicking, leading troops in Castle Black. Uh, that's actually kind of amazing. But anyways, um, and then we also had a just cause to imprison the Lord of the North, but he did not. Uh, he did not surrender, and so he has rose or raised his banners in open rebellion but not all of the north is following him there's uh you know house dustin not following and obviously the other houses i mentioned already i think even house mormont is not following the starks here so they're really not as powerful uh as they as they could be although you know fifteen thousand men after we've just beaten them that's still quite a lot but we also luckily have dawn on our side so uh i'm feeling pretty good about this anyway what is this event about that is stopping the progress here? The dragon Quelos is a ravenous beast. She regularly roams the lands of Castle Rock, gorging on the livestock of the peasants. Hundreds of them have seeked audience. So, uh, what do they expect? Um, let's see what our region would say about that. He's kind of a cruel man, so I think he doesn't really care. So, yeah, we will just let that happen. Um, we have tons of dragons. I've actually just checked that. Um, so many dragons, so many dragon riders, and there's so many wild dragons, untamed dragons, it's crazy. And that's actually uh, where these uh, dragon stone forces uh, come into uh, play. Uh, they kind of just joined us. Uh, we had several courtiers, like the Princess Danies of House Targaryen, join us. And uh, she apparently brought her troops with her. So um, now we've got some event spawn troops, but I think after all of our wars are over... They're quite likely to disappear. So we're going to use them in the war against the North for now. Maybe even... You know what I will do? I will actually send them to Bravos instead. Because, yeah, 3,000 men to take out Bravos so we can finish this war. And maybe we can get the Vale back into the fold. That would be pretty important. Because House Belmore is a huge, um, huge, I guess, boost to our... Uh, 
well, to our realm stability, I guess I should say, um, because they are quite a loyal house, and uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's good to have them on our side. At least historically, they've always sided with us, so I, I would really just feel better having them. Anyways, we're gonna land, um, yeah, Princess Danies and, yeah, several other Dragon Riders. This is a complete army of, well, actually, Sir Harry's is not a Dragon Rider. Anyways, uh, there's a few dragons here. They should subdue Bravas quite quickly. And as you can see, more dragons arriving at our, at our court. Oh, well. Um, but anyways, there is a uh, marriage alliance. Uh, Yusula Gargalan is to be... Oh. She was actually uh, married to Lannister. To be married to Eric Butherwell, who uh, is not the uh, heir. I mean, I suppose she doesn't have any claims. Doesn't look like... This claim will not be inherited. I, I suppose we could accept that. Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, yeah, I guess. Anyway, can you... We're already in the right province, I suppose. We have not yet sieged anything. I guess maybe a dragon attack would be useful. Maybe we can recruit a few more forces to, uh, to help out in that siege. Maybe not. But yeah, we've got 16,000 men. Uh, we're going to head north once again. We'll take Moat Kaelin a second time, but hopefully uh, that will uh, that will be enough. I don't want to walk north a third time. I simply don't want that to happen. And we now have Lord Power Richard of House Florin, known as the Black. I wonder why he's known as the Black. Hmm. Uh, maybe because he killed his sister. He's not a Kinslayer, though. I mean, I guess he just let her rot. So I guess that's... Uh, that's different than kinslaying. We also have quite a few people in that prison, but most of them I can't release because my council's against it. In fact, I could release Ravella Ironmaker. Um, I'm I kind of forgot why she's here. To be honest, I'm an evil tyrant. Apparently, apparently I'm an evil tyrant. Well, you know what? I could just execute you, right? Could I? I could. Sure. Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, she will be simply beheaded. I think that's uh, that's fine. Okay, because um, after all, our regent is a cruel man. Uh, I guess we could have also let her rot or whatever, but I think this is fine. And there goes Bravas. I was actually hoping our dragons would do uh, the trick. And uh, a few people are being imprisoned as well. Uh, oh, wow, she's an attractive master seductress. That's actually kind of... I mean, it doesn't matter to us, right? Uh, but... Well, maybe it does. Maybe we, uh, maybe we're gonna turn uh, homosexual here. It's uh, it's possible, right? Anyway, so with this over, let me see who we've got imprisoned. Lucere and some other people. All right. Well, you know what? I guess it doesn't matter all that much. Um, we'll get onto the boats, and I think we'll send you right up here to besiege White Harbor while our forces are making their way uh, north. We've got some seventeen thousand men. You will simply rot in the dungeons. In fact, you know what? Yeah. No, yeah, we'll let you rot. I think that's the best option. All of you, please. Stop asking. And I and I hope the veil will uh, sue for peace here very soon. That would be uh, ideal. And there it is. Um, awesome. The war has ended. The veil has won. We've defended the territory. And I hope that they will swear fealty soon enough. And now, Lord Paramount Staffar is known as the Unworthy. And yet, he has, uh, he has apparently won... In the king's mood, yes, the Iron Islands are still agnatic elective, so you know what? If you find him unworthy, why did you elect him? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. And one thing I should definitely do though is get rid of you. You're no longer an important character now that you're on the wall. Um, I also gotta quickly check on Cerise, because she does have a lover, and if she if she gets pregnant, that could um, that could mean we're not, no longer going to inherit the dragon egg here. Um, so we'll have to see. Anyway, uh, our forces are going to arrive in the north relatively quickly. There's 11,000 men. It might actually be that we, that we meet in, in Moat Kaelin. That's very possible. Um, but yeah, we'll all let you rot. I, I, don't, I don't see what, I, what I'm going to do with you. We're actually going to arrive in Whitfort now. We now have a new regent, Lady Miria Harlaw of Sarsfield. Okay. Which means we need a new mass of loss. Wait, did he die? He might have. He might have died, actually. But yeah, the Veil vale has uh, joined us. I wonder if we can raise men. Yes. Raise men, please. Not enough. But we have a few ships. Maybe I should... P 
pick you guys up. Then again, hmm. You know what? I'll leave you there. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can kill a few dragons. Because at the moment, there are too many dragons around. We're not a dragon rider ourselves. How's Targaryen? Despite, you know, them only owning a few provinces, they're incredibly powerful because they've got so many dragon riders. They've got, I think, some 31 members. 30 members of their family, and almost everyone is a dragon rider. And um, that is scary. Because if they ever rise up, um, yeah, that would be uh, quite problematic. Okay, so White Harbor has fallen already. It's actually really good. So we'll send a few reinforcements from the Vale, and that should be sufficient to secure White Harbor. I, I, I hope so, at least. Especially with the dragons, it should be possible. More people sent to the dungeons. Serena. That's fine. Are uh, you just... It's just gonna burn it down, right? I mean, this is already wow. This is wasteland. We're just these dragons are just absolutely insane. They laid waste to Tyrosh, which, by the way, is currently fighting its own sort of civil war. Um, there is a war to overthrow the monarchy. So many things going on. Our realm is certainly not yet as stable as it could be. Uh, but regardless, um, if we send these reinforcements, we should be able to deal with these 12,000 men. Okay, so there's 8,700 8, against 12,000. We've got Lord Lancelot of Pike. We've got Veron Sunglass, a uh, dragon rider. Do we have another commander? Lenor, our uncle. I actually want Lenor to lead the center. I want... Probably Ontario, Lord of Castamere. No, I want dragon riders in here. I want this to be a dragon rider-led uh, army. Yep, I think that's fine. And then in the sub-commands, Vermon, then we've got do all Dragon Riders. That's kind of insane. Um, probably have Ontario Reign in there. Because I don't wanna I don't wanna sacrifice our good friends here necessarily. And you know what? I probably accept your offer. Ten gold, that's fine. You shall be released. Okay, our morale isn't the best, actually. That's kind of troubling. 12,000 men against 8,000, but we have no morale. If they use their dragons, then... Hmm. Uh, no, you shall stay. Then that might be sufficient. I don't know. 13,000 men? Uh, a war on our uh, <laughs> holy Lady Paramount of Stormlands. All of our Lord Paramounts seem to have some kind of nickname. Um, right? Uh, well, maybe not. A few of them do, though, so that's kind of interesting. The Unworthy, the Black, the Holy... Uh, do you have a name, Bolivar? No, you do not. Okay, well, a few of them have, anyways. Okay, let's uh, let's not uh, talk too much. I actually want to see this battle here at White Harbor. That's most likely going to be uh, deciding this war. And more dragons arriving at our court. He's obedient. Ooh, look at that. Affectionate and obedient. This is increasing our taming chance by quite a bit. Look at that. Taming chance times two, twice. And he's also strong. This is an exceptional dragon. If we could actually, if we could get this dragon rune, that would be, ah, oh, he already has a rider. Of course he does. Of course he does. Ah, oh. rune seems like an exceptional dragon. I really would like to have rune as my dragon. And I think this would be possible. Okay, so White Harbor is firmly under control, but the Northerners still have not arrived. They're attacking from all sides. Um, okay, who's this now? Quentin. Lord Jamie of Cornfield. Should I expose him? He has been viciously slandering me. There's some rumors about him. What would my... Master Whisperer say? She's got cancer. Hmm. You know what? I think we're actually going to... We're going to threaten him to stay out of all factions. Okay, and wow. Look at our dragons hit home. Wow. They certainly dealt a huge blow to the uh, northern forces there. So, yeah, this will be this will be over quickly. This battle. And that should maybe even decide it. I don't know. Karela was burning the stake. Okay. Uh, that's fine. She's probably a witch or something. Wow. That was an ex exceptional battle right there. And the Mormons have actually decided to join... Um, the Starks in this in this conflict, but yeah, 45, the Battle of Snow. That's actually a really cool name, the Battle of Snow. Uh, even though it was kind of fought with fire instead. Okay, I think um, there's not really much else to do uh, than to head to Winterfell 
and burn burn it down. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what's going to happen. And you are going to take Moat Kaelin. And once the North has been subdued, I'll, uh, I'll cut right back. So Winterfell has been burned. I imagine the uh, the old Weirwood Grove um, being set ablaze by the dragons. And I think that uh, House Stark certainly deserved this. They had several chances, but they, uh, especially Lord Paramount Benjik at the Merciless, he brought this on his house. He has fought... When defied our rule three times, as I said, uh, once uh, def attacking our vassal, once, uh, you know, not surrendering, um, and the third time rebelling. So uh, he certainly has to lose his head and his lands. Uh, unfortunately, though, this is not enough war scorchers yet. Okay, well, we get a few more prisoners. Prince Arthur of the North, interesting, and also Eddard Stout. Okay, well, send them to our dungeon. We uh, will we'll decide what we do with them uh, later. But um, yeah, as you can see, the dragons are making some really short work of them. Uh, well, of the uh, the garrison uh, left in uh, in Winterfell. I'm actually kind of surprised. Oh no, the godswood hasn't been burned yet. Well, that certainly needs to happen. Anyway, uh, Lowen has come to get my help. Today we're going to cut down some trees. Very hard work. Um, a wicked septon. Now it's kind of hard to tell, but we're playful. So, I would probably say that we'll, we'll simply go with that. I think, you know, going to the woods is kind of fun for us, so we'll see what happens. Uh, my prisoner, Arthur Stark, is complaining. We'll simply let him rot. Yeah, there's, uh, there's nothing we're going to do about that at the moment. So, yeah, um, as you can see, someone's going to be legitimized. That's fine. Uh, the Starks are retaking Newcastle here, which is okay. We need to break through Moat Kalen before we can do anything, and I think we'll simply move on. Um, it's a little bit unfortunate because we're yeah we're losing White Harbor. Uh, all right, well whatever. Um, we'll we'll take it back quickly. Pretty sure about that. And uh, who are you fighting now? Defending against Lord Gorgon the Bloody Wickenden. So many. All right, well we'll join him in his defensive wars against uh, the Tullys of Riverrun, as well as the Dairies and the Riggers of Willowwood. So quite uh, this is quite an uprising you have to fight. You've got. The Dornish men helping us here. Hmm. Maybe a few men of the West could be raised to deal with this threat. You've got 5,000 men against equal amount. These 8,000 men will amass a new Western Westerlander host at the uh, the Golden Tooth. And there's a few men annoying me here, so we'll kill them. These uh these few Starks. Um, we'll uh probably threaten the vassal, I guess. Since our current region is deceitful. And we'll see what happens. Okay, we've won Coldstream. The council will decide on something. And there's actually Stark's Queen Barbara. Barbara Stark, the Lady of Carhold, is actually in Dawn attacking one of our allies, Polliver. Polliver Lannister. But that, you know what? It, it, that shouldn't really be a problem. In fact, I will probably send you... To burn down Carhold. Yeah, you know what? That's actually what I will do. Carhold's gonna be the next. And after Carhold, it's probably gonna be Bear Island that will uh, that will be uh, burned down. Yep. Okay, that doesn't actually concern me too much. And perhaps we can catch you. Yes. Yes, we can catch a big army. And that should be the deciding battle here. Okay, we've got Armory fighting the King's Justice. Now, he, I think he needs kind of a support. He needs some of the commanders as well. Olivar, a Dornishman, and then we also... Harry's. where are you leading men? In Oxcross. No, lead them here. We'll need... This army needs to be led uh, by someone, but it looks like... Um, yeah, Sir Florian uh, of the Trident is actually able to defeat the Tully forces here, so that's okay. Good, so there's the big battle of King's Course. Um, and we'll see how it happens. Actually, it's the Battle of Wayfarer's Watch. Uh, Donna Stout and Lord Arnulf Mormont of, uh, yeah, of House Mormont, obviously, of Bear Island, I guess, is leading the forces. But we've crushed most of their flanks, and now it's just the, the Stark commander. We've killed another 3,000 men. Isn't this enough now? We have Winterfell. I guess we'll have to wait uh, and burn down uh, Carhold as well. The Umbers have joined against us, it looks like. Don't think that was a smart move on your part. Maybe you should burn that down as well. I'm I'm unsure. I'm unsure. 
But yeah, anyways. More Dragon Riders, of course, uh, as always. In fact, you know what? Maybe I should send an army to protect Winterfell. Because they could easily retake that. The garrison isn't particularly big. And now Botherwell is also known as the Black. We've got two Black Lord Paramounts. Wow. And Nerys Targaryen is a brilliant steward. That's uh, sweet. Okay, at least he's not stopping there. Great. Good. <sighs> so many things happening. So many wars are being declared. Okay, council vote in favor, but I don't think that actually matters. Yeah, there's nothing we can actually do. Come on. Let's uh, let's take Carhold with the dragons. I would very much appreciate that. Very nice. So Carhold should be burned as well. Okay, so the Starks have basically... Basically, all of their estates have been burned. Except for, well, Moat Kaelin. But that's... I guess we didn't burn Moat Kaelin because of our aunt. You know, she's, uh, she's there. So we kind of don't want to do that. Anyway, 100% we'll let the Starks bend the knee and force our demands. What does that do? He's going to be imprisoned. Perfect. And since he was a rebel, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to revoke the King of the North. Yes, we'll do that since he's a traitor. And can I revoke High Lord of Winterfell as well? Yes, perfect. And as I said, I will probably... Actually, you know what I will do? I will probably give the High Lord of Winterfell to the Tall Hearts of Torrent Square. And I will give the north to the Glovers. This way we can actually uh, give lands to several houses. Can I revoke one more title? No, that would be too much. Okay, cool. But we can usurp the north clans. Actually, you know what? I will usurp the north clans as well. And we'll give the north clans to house Rygate. So all of the northern houses supporting us will get something uh, in... Well... In return for their loyalty. I think that's actually pretty good. Okay, so we can... We could stand you down, but we would actually lose forces. Okay, we'll probably send you to bolster the army at River Run. And um, now, Lord Benjikut. Send him to the dungeon. Yeah, he certainly needs to be sent to the dungeon. Because he had the opportunity uh, to be our vassal. Um, and he, he wasn't interested. Now, as for Lord Edric of Last Hearth, let him bend the knee. Let me check out what our regent would say. She is uh, content, diligent. She is ruthless. Hmm. The Mormons. Now, Mormons, they join relatively early. Hmm. Well, what to do, what to do. He's a Kinslayer. I don't think that really matters to us, though. Uh, fine. I think we'll let them bend the knee. Yeah. We'll let them bend the knee for now. Uh, and we will give out these titles, though. We will give out these. Hopefully, I get to do this, actually. I, I actually kind of want to do that. But we'll have to see. Uh, on that note, though, I will have to end this episode. Uh, I'll be back next time. And um, hopefully, uh, we will have a united realm of Westeros... And uh, no more uprisings. That would be actually something I would uh, I would like to see.